everybody and welcome back to my channel merry christmas to you and your family i hope you are somewhere enjoying your christmas i hope that this holiday season has been a very special season for you um today is december 25th 2019 and i am committed to you passing okay uh, i could be doing something else but i'm doing this with you okay and i'm gonna go and eat it in my face. Um, but Merry Christmas! I hope that the gift that I'm giving you, you're able to give back to someone else. And I'm giving you the gift of time, the gift of knowledge, the gift of understanding, and the gift of commitment. The only thing that we are required to do is to be better than we were yesterday and be consistent. And so in my consistency, I hope that it's blessing you to be consistent with the other things you're doing. Merry Christmas to you and your family. If this channel has helped you, if this channel is helping you, please subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up and ring the bell for notifications. I'm gonna jump into it because just like you, I wanna get to the food, okay? So this video is gonna be about information system usage and application. A lot of you all have talked about this. This uh, comes from the um, chapter nine of the Mosby Review Book. Remember I told you about the Yellow Mosby Review Book? That is the book that you all should be using to study, okay? Um, that's the book I recommend, but I will tell you that any book, any type of you know um, review material should work. However, this PowerPoint comes from that chapter, and that chapter is literally just for information system usage and application, okay? Uh, so this is going to just kind of give you about 10 questions that you might see on your exam. I've had some friends tell me that, Lindsay, the stuff that you talked about on your YouTube videos was actually on my exam. Shout out to all of my friends that have passed their PTCB exam in 2019. Shout out to you. May God continue to bless you in your career. And I'm so excited I was a part of your success journey. I'm going to jump into it. Drug food interaction. Which of the following is a drug-food interaction? Which of the following is a drug-food interaction? So what would you say the answer is? If you pick C, the answer is correct. Come on, come on, my people. I know you know. I know you know. Let's go to the next one. Input device. Input devices are used by both patients and pharmacy staff. Which of the following is not an input device? Which of the following is not? Is it a touchpad on the debit machine? Is it the mouse connected to the computer? Is it the keyboard on the cash register? Is it the printer that creates the receipt at the register? It says, which of the following is not an input device? Okay, I gave you a little hint over here just to kind of help you out a little bit because you know, I like to help. Um, but if you pick B, your answer is correct, okay? B is not an input device. E-prescribing. E-scribing provides many benefits. One of them is what? Increasing the time to fill a prescription, increasing medication errors, providing a paperless prescription transfer, um or that it may incur a fee which one which one of these is a benefit providing a, a paperless prescription transfer c is correct okay <clears throat> electronic record the electronic record of a patient health inform information generated by one or more encounters in, in any care delivery settings is the is it the ram the cpoe the ehr or the hit the electronic record of patient health information generated by one or more encounters in any care delivery system is the what let me give you a hint you see the e for electronic, then you see health, right? And you see record, okay? Do you see a R-A-M up here? Anything, I see something that starts with the R, but I don't see a, a word that starts with the A. And I see a word that starts with the M, but that wouldn't be it, okay? Um, I see the H in here, I see the I, and then I'm looking for the T, I don't see it. Remember I told you before that this test is common sense. 
it's really a lot of common sense. If you can decipher and use your common sense, you're going to be fine. The correct answer for four is C, E-H-R. Electronic health record, I gave it to you. I helped you out. Output device. Output devices send information out of the computer. Which of the following is an output device? These are all output devices. Sorry, which of the following is not an output device? And I've listed them all here, okay? The printer is here, we see the keyboard. Um, we see the monitor, I'm sorry, we don't see the keyboard, we see the like a little laptop type thing. We see the monitor and we see the speakers over here. The monitor is here, that's what that was. Um, and we see a printer, but what we don't see is a keyboard, okay? And so the correct answer for which of the following is not an output device would be keyboard. Okay, I'm so proud of you. Don't you stop. You've come too far. You've come too far. Somebody right now is doubting. They're looking at these questions and they're like, you know what? I'm not ready for this. How am I going to pass this? You bet not doubt yourself. You've come too far. Somebody somewhere is watching you. To give up now would be would be something that will let people down. You got to show them. Remember all those people that said you couldn't do it? Remember all those people that said you wouldn't be nobody? Do you remember those people who told you that nobody would ever hire you and look at you now with a job? And you are somebody. And you've made it over hurdles that you never thought you would make it through. And so this right here is not here to make you feel bad about yourself. This test is not working against you. It's actually working with you. And so all you have to keep doing is telling yourself, work with me and not against me. Work with me and not against me. Speak positivity over your head. Speak positivity in the atmosphere so that the creation can hear what you're saying. What you put out is what you get back. Automation reduces. What is automation? <clears throat> automation, pharmacy automation. What does it do? Is it the clinical skill a pharmacist need? Is it accuracy? Does automation reduce accuracy? Does automation reduce the amount of time to check prescription? Or does it reduce drug use control? Automation is not a skill that a pharmacist needs. Let's be very clear. Automation is pretty much where a robot, a robot handles um, the filling process of the script. Okay, so whenever you think about something that is automation, think about an automatic. Like if you drive an automatic car, which I do, sweetie, because look, this stick shit for me, it's not gonna work. But if you think about an automatic vehicle <clears throat> and it's like it does something without you even having to shift gears. When you're driving and you're in drive, if I wanna slow down, I can slow down. I don't have to shift the stick. If I wanna go faster, I can go faster. I don't have to do anything extra. Okay, so automation is going to be something that automatically does it, okay? Uh, and this answer, the amount of time to check the prescription is what the automation reduces. It reduces the amount of time to check the prescription. However, if you, oh, excuse me, if you are using an automation system to count controlled substance, whether it be a controlled substance for three or five, we know it wouldn't be a two because twos have to be counted by hand. But if it's a four or five, three, four or five, then even after the automation system has dispensed it, you still need to pull it out and double count it again. In pharmacy, when we double count medications twice, we circle the quantity so that the pharmacists know that we double counted it, okay? So let's say, for example, you get a prescription for Xanax, you get 30, prescription for 30 Xanax, right? Um, for whatever reason, it's in the automation system and the automation system produces the 30 pills. You need to pour it out on your counting tray. We know that we count pills by five, so that means we get them five all at one time, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm gonna do a video on that because I've had somebody ask me before, like, maybe how do you count the pills? I'm like, you don't, you don't know, and that's okay. I'll help you. Look, I'm here for you. Uh, and so once you count them, you need to circle it so that way, um, so that way the pharmacist will know that you counted it twice. Okay. So again, 
Automation reduces the amount of time to check the prescription, but if it is a control, whatever anything I can do, feel free to call me, 903-295-5933, extension 101. You can also email me, info at lwpschools.com. This has been a